I really believe that when it comes to engineering a marketing message, even thinking about the marketing portion of a business, in our marketplace, most people overcomplicate it. They start to think of all of these kind of myopic tactics and all of the technology involved. They overcomplicate it and they forget the foundation of what we're ultimately trying to do. Look, number one, okay, number one, we are all selling a solution, right? We're all selling a solution. We're selling a solution. In order to sell a solution, there has to exist what? A problem, a problem right? So we're all selling a solution. Right? We're all selling a solution to help somebody overcome a problem. And we're going to come back and talk about this in a, in, in, in a little bit in a, in, a few so, in a few slides. But I want you to understand something, right? That there are two categories of problems that we ultimately are solving, that we're ultimately dealing with when it comes to marketing. There is the typical, when we think of a problem, what do we think of? We think of a pain point, we think of a discomfort, we think of a disappointment, right? We think of, right, I wanna, I wanna get out of pain. I wanna move away from pain and I wanna move towards pleasure, right? I've got knee pain, I've got a headache, I'm in debt, my relationship's falling apart, whatever it may be, uh, and I want to resolve that. I want to alleviate that. That's certainly one category of problem that we address as entrepreneurs and, and marketers. The other category is what I would call an unfulfilled desire. When we want something, when we want, we want something, we're not necessarily in pain, we're not necessarily dealing with a disappointment, we want something and we don't maybe necessarily know how to get it. I use the example for some strange reason all the time of if I want a gorgeous green lawn and I don't know the best way, I don't know the right seed to use, I don't know the right fertilizer to use, I don't know the right watering schedule to use, right? It's not that my lawn looks bad, it's not that it's causing me pain, you know, it's not my, my wife's not yelling at me, it's not an embarrassment or anything like that, it's just, maybe it's an ambition that I have that I really want, I've always wanted a gorgeous green lawn, but I'm not quite sure how to get there. That's what I would call an unfulfilled desire, right? Still a problem, it's still a problem. Ultimately, we are solving problems that our audience, or a problem that our audience has. At the foundation of what it is that we're doing, at the foundation of our marketing campaigns, we are showing our audience that we've got a solution to solve the problem, that we've got a better way for them to solve the problem. If you don't think any more about marketing and that's how you think about it, you understand the necessary foundation. That we are ultimately, they've got a problem and we're coming along and we're showing them, I've got a solution. I've got a better way to help you, right? Like better than your other options, a more efficient way, a faster way, an easier way, right? I can take you from here to where you ultimately want to be, whether that is out of pain, out of disappointment, out of frustration, or whether that is fulfilling the desire that is currently unfulfilled. I have a way to bring you from here to here. The kind of, the picture is, right, there's an, an island over here, right? Many of you have, have heard this example. There's an island over here. Your prospect is on that island. That island represents their, their, their current state. It either represents them dealing with a problem, dealing with a frustration, dealing with a disappointment, dealing with some pain, or it represents not having the, the desire that they want. But they're on an island. They are right here. That is the present state. The individual that we are talking to, right, is on that island right here. Then there's an island over here. And that island over here is ultimately where they want to go. It's either out of pain, you know, no more disappointment, no more frustration, right? No longer in debt. Home is no longer being foreclosed on. Relationship is, is, is you know, is, is thriving, right? It's either over there represents out of pain, or it represents the fulfillment of their desire. Your prospect wants to go from here to there, right? It's our job in our marketing to show them that we've got a way to get them from here to there. And our way to get them from here to there is better than any other way out there. That's ultimately what we're doing. It's no more complicated than that. We get caught up in all of this kind of, right, we've got to use all these tricks and all these maneuvers and all this technology and all this, and we lose sight of the fact that our core job, our core job, first and foremost, 
is to show them that I've got a way to bring you from here to there. And my way is better than the other options. That's it. That is ultimately it. Now, of course, there are nuances in terms of what we got to do to get attention, right? What we got to do to create engagement so that they're, they're actually paying attention to our, our marketing message. But at the end of the day, this is what I want you to understand. Our marketing message is designed to show them, yes, we can take you from here to there and we can do it in a way that is better than any other option. That's it. That is it. And so when you lose sight of that, that that's the foundation of ultimately what we're doing, right? It's not like we're trying to get them to get a lead magnet and download a lead magnet so that we can get their in follow up here. You're losing sight of the foundation of, of what a business from a marketing perspective needs to do. Does that make sense? So I want you to remember that. I want you to keep out in front of you always the simplicity of what it is that we're ultimately trying to do. I never forget, I remind myself to this day, I remind myself of that picture right there. And it's my job to come in, my whole presentation is showing them, yes, Mrs. Prospect, I have a way to bring you from here. I understand where you're at right now. I understand what you're dealing with. I know what you don't like about being here. I know what's missing for you over here. I also know where you want to go. I know exactly where you want to go. And I know why you want to go there. And I know what that's going to give you over there and what you're going to experience over there. And I know the options that you have to get there. I want to show you and share with you an option to get there that I believe is better than the others. And I'll share with you why I believe it's better than the others. And then I'm going to give you the opportunity to, to take it or leave it. That's it. That's what I remind myself of always, always. And so I, I'm sharing this at the beginning of this in this context, because what I'm not thinking about at the beginning is what's the whiz bang, whiz bang phraseology uh, I can use? What's the, what's the cool, you know, string of words that I can use? Or what paragraph should come first or second based on what somebody else said or, right? Or the most important thing being on a long form side, I need, I need to have subheads. I'm not saying that none of those things are important. What I'm saying is that what's most important is that you are clearly articulating what it is that I just shared, period. And so therefore, we have to understand Right? We have to understand what the environment is like for the prospect where they are right now, what they don't like, right? what they ultimately want, what their options are. And, and ultimately, and you're going to hear me come back to this, you have to understand how to show them that you've got a better way to get them there. 